some of you have heard me talk about classical education before, but I wanted to start off by giving you a little bit of an introduction to how I got involved in classical education. This story actually begins with my mother, who um, graduated in the 19, early 1950s from a high school which in our, our home county where I live now, which was unaccredited and had no library. And we found ourselves, when my brother and sister and I were school age, back in the county where she grew up and the school system had gotten worse. And she had been a teacher, she knew the importance of education, uh, she knew she couldn't send us to that particular school, and she was determined that whatever school she sent us to, we were going to be well prepared before we got there. Because in her last year as a teacher, she had had two eighth grade boys in her class who still hadn't learned how to read. She wasn't going to trust a classroom to teach us these skills. So she taught my brother to read when he was five, and I was three, and I learned along with him because whatever he was going to do, I was going to do. And she taught my little sister to read. And then she sent us all off to school, convinced that she had done the best she could to prepare us. She enrolled us in a very well-regarded parochial school in Williamsburg, which is, which is nearby. And um, my brother immediately became a problem child. He was bored. He was in first grade, and he already knew all of the material. And so he became a little bit disruptive, um, and he squirmed, and he wiggled, and he developed a really, really bad habit of whenever the teacher said something that wasn't exactly like it was in the book, he'd say, that's not what the book says. Um, so she suggested to my mother he'd be happier in second grade. So they moved him into second grade, and the second graders wouldn't play with him because he was this little upstart first grader who'd been thought worthy of invading their turf. And he cried and said he wanted to go back to first grade with all of his friends. Please put me back in first grade. So he went back. The school was really doing its best here. He went back to first grade. And then the first graders wouldn't play with him because he'd been in second grade. And he thought he was better than they were. So here's my brother at the age of six, finding out that doing well in school can make you really, really unpopular. This was the beginning of my mother's disenchantment with the entire classroom idea. 